world's simplest motor, or is it? It took me a few tries to get this motor to work. I had to take a little screwdriver and push the tip of the battery in. The tip of the wire has to sit inside the bump made with the screwdriver. If you use a C or D battery, you can just turn it over and it will already have one of these indentations. It took several tries of bending the wire to get it loose enough on the battery so that it would spin freely. It should be a simple motor, but it was not so easy setting it up the first time. With a little more work, it started moving a little. did not help it along very much. At last it did take off on its own until the wire jumped off the top. So we put it back in place and off to running it goes again. After rebending the top, it was off and running on its own for a little while. I discovered the tip was a little off-center and bent it a little more. Here you can see the tip of the wire and the dent in the battery tip. 